Hi, my name is Randall Restley. I'm the Vice President of Applications Engineering here at DigiKey. DigiKey is on the lookout for the newest technologies, the latest suppliers, so you can make your products as modern as possible. Today we've got the Internet of Things going crazy, and so there are ever more sensors and suppliers that are making Internet of Things devices, and I happen to bring some with me today. This first one is from a company called Monit. This is their second generation called Alta, and what they make are all kinds of these end sensor units. Um, these, these are temperature, but you can get ultrasonic, you can get vibration, just very many kinds of sensors. And they are wirelessly connected a thousand feet to a gateway device. Now what the gateway device does is it collects all the sensors input and then it makes it available to the internet. This one happens to be a cellular gateway, so it'll connect up to a cell phone tower. But you can also have a, one that hooks up through ethernet. At any rate, you can set uh, different alarms on these uh, sensor units so that when they exceed a certain value, you can get a text, you can generate a message. So it's quite capable if you want to get something up and going really, uh, very quickly, finished units. Now, if on the other hand, you've got some um, custom work that you want to do, I happen to bring a new sensor from TDK and Vinsys. And uh, this happens to be a barometric sensor that is very high accuracy. It uh, is good to about five centimeters of uh, barometric pressure, which gives you about a two and a half inch change. If you were to put this on a hot air balloon, you'd be able to sense it with that accuracy. And it's, it's quite small. You can see I'm having, having trouble keeping a hold of it. It's, it's actually inside here. Most of this is the package. But thankfully, you, have, uh, you can get a developer's kit that has that on, on it. Now this little developer's kit is a board that's made for very many different kinds of sensors. And uh, that sensor right there happens to be right there on this board. So it's got a microprocessor, it's got some unpopulated sites for other devices. Quite easy to get up and going with this sensor. Pretty slick devices. Thank you for watching.